Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for another Com C rummage video. Got the cheese box out here for the first time in the new year. Uh, back by popular demand after a few rummages in uh, 2022. So let's just get to it and start pulling Com C pickups over the last few years that have been sitting here waiting in the cheese box to see the light of day. And uh, we'll just start somewhere around the middle here. And the first card out is a football card for 2023. Check out this awesome Gronk. I did a recent uh, small video response for John at 3D80s Kid where I showed off a couple of football slabs. Don't collect much football, but I do have a small Z folio of Shine and uh, found this Gronk refractor from Topps Chrome at a price that was too good to leave behind. I think it was like $1.25 or something like that. So nice Gronk football card to start us off. Probably not uh, what you would have predicted to be the first card out of the cheese box in the new year. Let's go to the vintage baseball section next. This is a 55 top set build need. Harry Perkowski, pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. As has been the case with all of these that I've pulled out of the cheese box, you know, probably VG condition, but really good display. Card number 184, which is somewhat of a high number, which is why I was more forgiving uh, with this one being slightly more off-center than uh, a lot of my other 55s. The high numbers in 55 are pretty brutal, and I've only just begun to make a dent in those uh, when it comes to my set build. So really happy to have that Perkowski. Let's get a stand here for Gronk. Keep him upright for the rest of the episode. Let's go uh, all the way to the right side now. And it looks like uh, three different sports hit right out of the gate. Here is a Prism Paul Pierce. This is a red uh, parallel. I don't know if this is like scope or what this is called. There are a million different Prism parallels and they differ by sport and year, but uh, suffice it to say, loved uh, Pierce when he was on the team with Garnett and Ray Allen and uh, the championship win, and even his years before that with Antoine Walker. Um, so I've always been a Pierce fan and have a whole page or two of uh, space dedicated to him in my little basketball card Z folio. So there's just a cheap Paul Pierce pickup. And another football card here. This is uh, feels like somebody else's channel today. Uh, no hockey yet, but we have two football cards and a basketball card. Check out this sweet Joe Namath. Again, like I don't really know much about this, but it's cracked ice. Um, I think I had just searched for Joe Namath by name on Com C and then sorted by price and tried to look at what shiny cards were available for maybe only like a dollar or two that looked killer. And man, look at this card. It has etching. So look at the number two lighting up. The numbers on the uniform there. Just awesome etching. But it's also atomic. Uh, in this case, cracked ice, but it's the same effect. So pretty, pretty sweet Joe Namath card there. We're going to, with uh, apologies to Gronk, we're going to put him right in front. And this one does have some green. It almost looks like uh, Christmas colors. It's got a red border, but the inset is green to match the, uh, the Jets. So that's like a holiday Joe Namath. And it kind of goes with the red and green Paul Pierce. It's, it's actually kind of weird that I pulled those out back to back or coincidental. Uh, next up, Got a baseball card here, and this is a really sneaky good card, I think, anyway. Um, not valuable or anything, but this is a Stadium Club Hanley Ramirez, you can see here. But this is the Rainbow Foil Board Parallel. And first of all, I love the shot here of Hanley jogging in from the outfield with uh, the green monster Wally here. With him, you got the golf sign there in the background, the green monster prominently on display with the scoreboard. And just look at the shine. Look at the foil work through the Red Sox team name and the DH position there in the bottom. And then, of course, rainbow foil backing on the entire card. Um, simply gorgeous. I have a few of these. Um, they're really tough. These are numbered every year in Stadium Club out of just 25. So you can see this is copy 9 of 25 of this Hanley card. I mean, nobody cares about Hanley Ramirez, largely, uh, as far as the hobby goes. But just having like a numbered the 25 stadium club card that features Wally the Green Monster is honestly what attracted me to this one more than anything. So uh, sorry, Hanley, but uh, Wally was kind of the main draw on that one for the Red Sox collection. Let's keep going here. We're not even at the five minute mark yet. And finally, we get our first hockey card and the shine continues today. Check out this 2016 Opeachy Platinum Retro Rainbow Foil Artemi Panera in the Breadman. So he's someone I've 
show it on the channel a few times now. I uh, tend to peruse his stuff on Com C every so often just because, you know, relative to his production in the league, he's kind of dirt cheap to collect. Um, so I just really, really enjoy getting Panarin stuff. This is a, an early career card, I think a second year card. Uh, you can tell because he didn't last too long uh, with the Blackhawks before he was sent to Columbus and eventually the Rangers where he is now. There's some more cool shine there. And uh, here is a banger. So this one will go right into an Ultra Pro one touch after this episode. And I kind of wish we were a few more minutes in because I just mic drop it and end the episode here. But this is a speckled rainbow foil Connor McDavid from 2020 Upper Deck. I've shown a few of these. Um, they began in 2016. They were known as Gold Rainbow Foil. After a year or two, they changed the name to Speckled Rainbow Foil. The only way to get one of these is to accumulate 100 copies of a Connor McDavid base card in the EPAC program from Upper Deck, and you can then exchange in 100 McDavid's for a single Speckled Rainbow Foil like this one. So these are not serial numbered. Um, but they look amazing. Like you can, you can easily tell why a fan of Shine, such as myself, would desire this card. And you know, although not serial numbered, they are scarce. I can assure you that. Um, you know, if if that's the kind of card that appeals to you, and you want a, a McDavid, if you see one at you know forty, fifty dollars or under, you're gonna want to grab it before somebody else does. That's how uh, scarce those are and desirable. So, um, trying to work on a complete. McDavid run of these uh, from his playing career and I just went ahead and put this right into a one touch that I had sitting nearby but holy cow that will definitely go down as being uh, the best card I think in this first uh, cheese box installment for 2023 and I'm absolutely gonna have to boot Wally and uh, make some room for McDavid who is just once again blowing away all competition this year as far as you know point total accumulation and Looks destined for another uh, Art Ross trophy for leading the league in points. Uh, continuing on, here's a Max Scherzer. Guy that I just like collecting when I can find his stuff cheap. Don't super collect him or anything, but I mean, this is a numbered Topps Heritage card. This is the Chrome from 2015, this would be. 1966 design, but just, yeah, not much to say about that. Chromium Scherzer, numbered out of 9.99, and was probably at like about a dollar. Maybe less, honestly. Uh, shares are just not a recipient of a ton of hobby love. And why not? We've seen like every other major sport today, it seems like. So let's check out a, a Coutinho from the first ever Topps Chrome Sapphire release. Here with uh, the Bundesliga, although uh, it's a UEFA Champions League release with Bayern. Um, I'm a fan of this guy because he was on Liverpool back in the day when he was kind of at the height of his uh, skill. And so i uh, just always been a fan of him as a Liverpool fan. And of course he plays for the, or at least did play for the Brazil national team as well. First ever Topps Chrome Sapphire. And uh, this was like 50 cents. So I'm um, just a total sucker for Sapphire soccer in particular. Uh, let's do one or two more cards here and then we'll drop off already at the eight and a half minute mark. Here's a nice one, Ilya Sorokin. This is a holographics insert. You can see kind of the wild background effect there from Upper Deck Update. This is a rookie year insert and a guy who's quietly uh, been putting together a stealthy good start to his NHL career, um, kind of routinely racking up shutouts and um, seems to always be near the top of the league league in uh, save percentage and goals against average. and. I'm not sure if he'll win a Vezina anytime soon, but he certainly may in his career. And if you're going to collect, you know, young goalies, he seems like one to grab. Um, this was dirt cheap, under a dollar, and just wanted to add a little bit of shine of uh, of his to my collection. And let's close it out here. We'll do one more card. Also on the hockey front, I've shown these before. Fantastic die cut card, Immortalized, from the standalone Panini Prism release. This features the toothless Bobby Clark of the uh, Broad Street Bullies Philadelphia Flyers teams of the 70s. Love these inserts. Um, I like them more when they're silver prism and shiny. This is just a base card, but um, even in base, they're not easy to track down. You know, they're not too prevalent. Um, so just happy to have this one, at least as a placeholder until, uh, you know, the day comes if and when I ever find his uh, silver refractor version. But for now, 
cool card and a great look at Lord Stanley's Cup with Panini etching, which I just adore. So that will be the final card in today's rummage. Appreciate you stopping by to check out the very first cheese box rummage of 2023. Uh, as you can tell, the box is still pretty full and I have plenty more ammo to fill it with as it empties. So this will probably be a recurring segment uh, throughout the year. So I appreciate you taking your time to stop by and check out these ComC pickups. And I will certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care and enjoy the hobby.